Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I wanted to do a flip through of this book back here. It's the second book in this set. This is the first book and it's a little smaller. I'll let you know that. Instead of being um, almost 12 inches here, this one is only eight and a half by eight and a quarter. It's kind of square, but you know, it's a half inch off. <laughs> this one is the same width, so. Anyway, this one is, uh, uh, oh. Okay, this one is Draw a Lovely You, and this one is called Draw You in My Mind. They're both Korean coloring books. And then we'll just do a flip through this one. It's got a um, paper cover, beautiful color sheet here. The book belongs to Paige. And the information over on this side, uh, cannot read, so <laughs> that's that. And this is the information here. Nice paper. Mm -hmm. We got information over there. And then we have pictures of the dolls that are inspired by the pages that come. So, very pretty dolls. Okay, and then starts the um, colored pages that are in the book. They're one-sided. You have something to write on on the other side. So you can take your inspiration off of these pages for the uh, coloring parts that are coming up. The other book is done kind of in the same way, except for you get the colored picture here and the um, one you're going to color on the other side, the blank one. So you go through the first section of the book that way, and then we get into the coloring section. These are going to be done the same way. Um, one here, writing on this side, so you'll have the writing on the back. But you'll notice a little something when we get into this section. Okay, so we have the two little girls, Braid, Ponytail, Birds, Little Bunny. And here you'll have a similar page. It's not the same, but it's similar. So we've got the little girl with the braids. And instead of the one pony on the side, she's got them up here, stuff on their hats. Okay. Here we have the little girl with the ponies and some flowers and a polka dot dress. And here we have her with a polka dot dress sunglasses. <laughs> Bunnies. And then we have the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Lion, and the Puppy. Can you guess what show that is? <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Okay, then we have these guys, two of them. And then they're reading and have a post box here. So they're always just a little bit different. So here we have a silhouette of a lady behind her. And here, a gentleman. So you can color um, the pages that you like better. So you would like the way she looks, but I'd rather do her with headphones and such. One looks more like a little girl and one looks more like a doll too. So keep that in mind, whatever page you want to color. We've got looking up at the bluebird. And this one, I'm not quite sure. This like scissors and Swiss Army knife on a hand or something. I'm, not, I'm really not sure about that one. <laughs> so yeah, if I was going to pick between those two, I would color the one with the bird. <laughs> Front cover. 
and then kind of the same gal except for she has got little fangs and looks more Victorian um, vampire-y. <laughs> Here we have the little girl with the little man here with the lights in the background. And we've got the gnome umbrella. Short hair. So each one of the pages is a little different. Very well done though. I love these books. Here her scarf is all decorated up for you. And here it's plain. We still have the same round, but we have a whole bunch of daisies or whatever one to make those. And here we have like roses. Here she's in a little portrait. There's a lot of pages in this book, too, so you have a nice variety of different things to color. Beautiful paper. It's the same that's in the other book. Nice, thick, smooth. Um, I believe I've colored in the other book with my um, polychromos. They worked really, really well. A little kitty. I think the mushroom dude's adorable. <laughs> and all that sweater would be fun to color. I think it needed to come down over here a little bit. My hat. Or you can just make her in spring. This one with the leaf up there. And here, keeping him dry with the coat. I like that one. And a little bear hat and little kitty ears. We've got a teapot. And we have little faces on the teapot and the teacup and the candle, the clock. Who does it remind you of Beauty and the Beast here? <laughs> you get like one of those riding horses and little dude <laughs> hanging on the flower there. And then we get a bunch of the stuffed animals. It looks like Christmas time. Fun. Oh, okay, pages are really thick. Here we've got um, the sunflowers, and then we have like little ghosties hanging down here. So this could be like a Halloween fall type picture. And then that's the last page in the book. So there we go. I've broken the spine on this book, so it's fun. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get this. It's uh, I got it off of, I believe it's Cool Craft Books, off of Etsy. I got this one at the same place. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this book. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.